Bail is set at $2 million for Jason Kievsky from West Dallas, charged with first degree intentional homicide in a 2019 deadly home invasion in Columbia County. Authorities reveal Kievsky picked out the home and his victim completely at random. Now, this violence took place before the pandemic, but authorities say the case was solved in part thanks to something all of us are wearing right now, face masks. Tony Galley reveals how investigators tied everything together a year and a half after the death of Keith Wolf. Tony. Amber George, before Jason Kievsky was arrested last month, jailed here in Portage in January, he was questioned by a West Dallas police officer who provided him a disposable face mask. Well, when that interview was over, Kievsky just took off that mask, threw it away. The officer retrieved it and in the process retrieved DNA. And authorities say the DNA on the mask matched DNA recovered from a cellar door when officers responded to the shooting of Keith Wolf in the town of Leeds in September 2019. But how did detectives zero in on Kievsky in the first place? With no criminal past, he was not in law enforcement's DNA database. Columbia County Sheriff says there was no critical citizen tip, just dogged networking. There is no person that has come forward that provided any specific information that was valuable uh, to get his uh, identity revealed. These were all law enforcement investigative efforts worked with multiple different departments. Sheriff Brandner says a shell casing and a round were recovered and they match a gun seized from Kievsky's home last month. Authorities say Kievsky has confessed to this killing. Kievsky said he picked out the home at random to rob. He had never even been in Columbia County before the night of the homicide. Kievsky also says he shot Wolf as the homeowner was armed investigating suspicious sounds in the basement. Reporting live from Portage, Tony Galley, 27 News.